Hey, everybody, it's Coach Alicia, and it is time for the angel of the day. Today's angel is the eighth, the ninth name of God. Sorry. The ninth name of God, Hazoya. Hazoya is a cherubim, the angel of divine mercy and forgiveness. That's a beautiful thing. I wonder if. Huh, I wonder if that ever falls on the, the um, feast day of the divine mercy. That would be really cool. I guess it could. So this is the guardian angel of those born between May 1st and May 5th. And I just want, I was looking through a lot of the comments um, from the last several years. And I noticed that there were some people who were saying that the dates were wrong. There are two different schools of thought in these angel, on these or on these angels or in these angels. So I decided I had to pick one. I couldn't say this is the angel of this day or this day. So there's some people who are like, you have the date wrong. Well, according to guideangel.com, which is where I originally got my information from, these are the dates that are connected to that. So I just go with it. So um, you can choose whatever dates you'd like, but these are the ones that work for me. Um, I had to choose. I had to choose one. So here I am choosing one. Okay. You are grounded and spiritual. You are a dreamer who knows what is coming. That's a good thing. Hmm? So this again is from, these are our May babies from May 1st to 5th. All right. Older people positively influence you. You are dedicated to those who you love. You forgive others easily. Now that is so important, everybody, because when you don't forgive and you hold resentments, that creates acidity in your body, which creates disease. Um, you may have heard people say that alkalinity is really important in your life. And so alkalinity comes with being able to sleep at night, peacefulness, forgiveness, all brings that peace. So if you want to have a more alkaline life, start forgiving people. Okay. Um, let's see. Others can trust you. Now, that is very important. And what you stand for. You have a great work ethic and attitude. Now, below that is the ichthys. The ichthys is the ancient sign of the Christians. And inside of it, there's a name in Hebrew, and that name is Yeshua, because he is my best friend, and he rules over these beautiful angels. Okay, underneath that is Psalm 25, 6. So I'm going to just pick up my phone and click a couple of buttons and get to my handy dandy chart. This chart is yours. You get this. I share this with you. This chart was a love of labor of love. It is pretty big. When you complete my masterclass number one, which is 222, you get this chart. It's amazing. Uh, you find out so much information from this chart. And I, I just love it. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the um, ninth name of God. I'm going to find uh, the number nine, which is right over here. And you're going to see the name Hazoya. And I'm going to see now it's got all of the ruling days. And then over here in the end, you're going to see that it has um, the Psalms. Okay. The Psalms, I just need to click on it once. And then it has this little, this little like link. And I click on it again. And oh, there we go. There's our Bible verse. Our Bible verse says, be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. So this is, this speaks about the mercy of God and divine mercy. And that's the beautiful thing is it? we need to have the same mercy that on ourselves that God gives to us. If God is our creator, we believe that. If the divine is our creator, then we need to have mercy, like the divine has mercy on us so that we can live out our life's purpose. If we constantly criticize ourselves, we're going to make ourselves afraid of doing the simplest step. So be kind to yourself. That's my message for you is to appreciate yourself and be kind to yourself because just like the person who's on the plane, who's a parent, needs to put their oxygen on their mask mask on their oxygen mask first before they help other people or their children you need to give yourself this love first so that you can expand that love out to others all right so that's the chart okay so on the back of the card which is over here you've got the pronunciation you know how everybody loves to say your name properly well so do these angels and so the way we say that is he zo yeah he zo yeah he zo yeah so Hazoya rules over January 10th, March 28th, June 8th, August 19th, which is today, and October 30th. So if that's your birthday, this is your ruling 
day angel. And this is nice because the color is the same. When purple comes on here, it's so weird. It doesn't, it changes the color. Um, but this beautiful blue angel is here for you. And these are, if you have, have a birthday on one of these days, the ruling days or the, the other days, which is May 1st through 5th, May 1st through 5th, that means you, this is your guardian angel. If you have one of these days that's over here, then that is your ruling day angel. I find that, and in, in when I'm looking through the angels, a lot of times the ruling day angel is more close to your personality than even your guardian angel. Okay. So meditate on the name of God, Hazoye, to when you need to forgive, to keep help your promises or to show respect for yourself and others. Isn't that so nice? I just spoke about that. Having mercy on yourself, having respect for yourself. I love when these angels back me up. I don't read this like prior to coming on here. So this is so much fun when this happens. Okay, God tasks Hazoya with the power of faith in yourself and in others. Here we go. Same thing that I was trying to tell you before. You know, I woke up today with that feeling of saying, well, you know, I really need to give myself, a, I really need to give myself a lot more credit than I actually do. And so do you. So if you're listening to this, you probably need to give yourself so much more credit than you actually do and just start looking for, hey, you know, I did that right. You know, you walked with your foot, your fit right, left, right, left, right, left. Even a clock that is broken tells the time right twice in a day. So give yourself that grace. Okay. Hazoya fights evil in your life. He encourages the truth and honesty. He helps, helps us recall childlike purity. Isn't that so sweet? And that's what we need to have. And in order, it's easier for us to have mercy on ourselves when we have that childlike purity. He instills a respect of others and kept promises. He helps gain favor from people in power. So have mercy on yourself and it'll open up doors for you to be able to have this beautiful blessing to yourself. So if you're seeing me for the first time today, I welcome you and thank you for being here. I welcome all of my subscribers. If you have not subscribed, feel free to go ahead and do that today. And if you want more information on these angels, I do offer things. So look in the description or go to aliciabaza.com. Okay, so last but not least, Hazoya means the merciful God. So be merciful to yourself. Um, you know, if, if I were to look at this from a, um, a clearing sense and I'm looking at it for, uh, from what to clear energetically, I would have to think about that. What would I clear if I was trying to have more mercy on myself? Um, let's see. I always mess up. That's what I would clear. I always mess up. Now, if you don't know how to do the clearing, clearing is pretty easy. You just literally take a deep breath in and hold. And then you say to yourself, one of the easy ways to do it um, is I release all positive and negative locks and emotions with, and then you say the statement. So I always mess things up, I think is what I said. So it would you would hold your breath and you would say, I release all positive and negative blocks and emotions with, I always mess things up. And then you release. Now, if you feel like, sometimes I can feel like this, like energy shift within me and it feel a lot lighter. Um, if you have never done an energy session and you'd like to try it for the first time, I do offer a session with at no cost. And it usually lasts about 20 minutes to a half an hour. And we take a lot of the things that you say to yourself and we help you to shift past it. Unfortunately, the subconscious mind rules over a lot of our lives. And it is like a three-year-old who has, who gets offended over everything, like all the time. So you would never allow a three-year-old to drive your car, right? Why would you let that three-year-old drive your life? Why? And if you feel like you're stuck, and you're in a circle that just keeps going around and around and around, and the same stuff happens to you all the time, please feel free to message me. And you'll see in the description, there's a place to get an energy session, clearing session at no cost. And there's also a free angel session if you're interested in finding out more about these beautiful angels. All right, well, I'm gonna leave that with you. I'm gonna leave you with that. <laughs> and I will see you again tomorrow for the 10th name of God. And we will see you then. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you taking the time to be with me and um, all of your well wishes. Do not go unnoticed. I appreciate them all. Thanks, guys. Bye.